Andrew Gray was like most boys. He loved playing and fun. He grew up in a large family in which he was the youngest. He had plenty of brothers and sisters to play with. His father was very rich and important. His name was Sir William Gray, and he owned a lot of land. His family had been important in Scotland for hundreds of years. He was a merchant, which means that he made money by buying and selling things from other countries. Andrew could live in comfort and have many nice things. They lived in a big house further down the hill from Edinburgh Castle. You can still see the house today. Above the doorway you can see the date that it was built, 1622. This was over ten years before Andrew Gray was born. The writing over the door says something even more important than the date. It reads, Fear the Lord and depart from evil. This comes from the book of Proverbs in the Bible. It is Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 7. Ask someone to show you. Imagine reading those words every time you went through your front door. That's what it was like for Andrew Gray. But at first, Andrew did not think very seriously about the things of God. One day, however, something unusual happened that made him begin to think. He was walking along happy and carefree near Edinburgh. But on the road ahead of him, he noticed a beggar in rags, dressed in a big blue robe. Then the man left the road and went into a cornfield. Andrew was curious. What was he going to do? Andrew then watched the man kneel down behind a large stone. And then the man began to pray. He must have thought that no one could see him. Andrew couldn't help listening to the words of the prayer. First the man started to confess his sins to God in a very serious way. Then he began to thank God in prayer, even though he had nothing. Perhaps someone had just given him something to eat and he was very thankful to God for this. This really made Andrew think, even though he was only a boy. He began to think about himself and how much he had compared to this beggar who had nothing. Yet this beggar was so thankful and Andrew was really not very grateful to God at all for what he had. This is what he thought to himself. There is a most miserable creature, in the worst of all conditions, whose life is almost a burden to him. And here I am, who have plenty of all things, and have never felt in need of anything. Yet I never made any acknowledgement to God, the free giver of everything to me, like this poor creature, who does not have even a tenth of the mercies I have. He began to see that it is very sinful to be unthankful to God. After a time of feeling his sin to be a heavy weight on him, he came to see that it could all be forgiven by the Lord Jesus Christ. You must trust in the Lord Jesus and his death on the cross, not his own prayers and good deeds. He was a changed person. He began to read the Bible as much as possible and came to love it. Even when he was young, he showed a deep love for and a wisdom in the things of God. God was preparing him to be a preacher of his word. When he was just twelve, his sister died from the plague and a few years later his father also died. These things must have helped him to put his trust more in the Lord. One time he went to Dundee and was nearly drowned when crossing the sea in a boat. He was always very thankful to God after that for keeping him alive. He went to university at an early age and became a minister when he was still a teenager. That was very unusual, but he was unusual in being so godly and gifted as a preacher. Many people wanted to listen to his sermons because they were so full of heavenly truth but he was only a minister for two years. He longed to be in heaven, and when he became ill and died, that is where he went. Few ministers made such an impression as Andrew Gray. 
Someone said that he was like a spark from heaven. In one of his sermons, Andrew Gray said that those who have most in this world can also be most unsatisfied. Perhaps he was thinking of his earliest years. He had a lot of things then, but he wasn't truly happy in a way that lasts. It is good to be happy and content with what we have by being thankful to God for it. Perhaps you have a lot of things to play with and books to read, but you keep wanting more. It is wrong to want more and more. Real spiritual joy and happiness come from trusting in the Lord Jesus. Everyone needs a new heart, just like Andrew Gray. We are not too young for God to change us. Pray to God for a new heart.